wonder, I wonder when this one will start this week. I wonder if it will have audio. I wonder if it'll sound decent. I am so excited. I'm really, really excited to talk to you today about how you are pivoting, how you are landing. And I'm really excited because I think the audio might be working. Um, if you happen upon here, please let me know. <laughs> oh, maybe you can hear me. Um, one of the most amazing things I think that has come out of the pandemic situation, people quarantining, people sheltering in place, um, nothing, nothing is like it was three months ago as far as business is concerned. I mean, there's a lot of personal stuff that has been shaken up um, here in Utah. Literally, we were shaken up a little bit. Uh, thank goodness that's handled, seems to have stopped, seemed the earth seems to have calmed itself. But there are so many things that have changed or at least had the opportunity to change since the first part of March. And the more I get a chance to talk to people about it, the more I examine my own business, my own clientele, my own community and tribe, the more I'm really, really optimistic for the things that are happening. Um, everywhere from from the way people offer what they offer, from what they're choosing to offer, um, working with people on some of the networking events and trying to decide if it's ready to go back yet, ready not to, and how do we structure it better so when we do get to go back in person, it's amazing. Um, I'm really optimistic about the opportunity to, to, to do things differently, to choose different path and to do things better for you, right? Like this is an opportunity to say, hey, this isn't, I don't get to do this way I used to. Is it still the way I wanna do it? So as you are pivoting, I, I know I've joked with some of my clients, you know, you get pivoting so much, you go around a complete 360 and you're like, I've been here before, I recognize that tree. I'm mean, now I just feel like I'm going around in circles. Hey, Christy, nice to have you here. So I think that there's such an opportunity to say, okay, if I'm shifting to the left or to the right, if I'm completely revamping how I do business, why not really make this a fabulous opportunity to do it the way you want to? Um, I think sometimes in the best of times, we can get really distracted. We say, this is our focus and this is what we wanna create, but oh, look at the kitty. Oh, look at the jingly keys. Oh, look what's happening over here. This new technology, this new opportunity. I spoke with one woman who, um, who was creating this magnificent business and supporting women and through all of this she realized that some of it because of because everybody gets a shelter in place and because travel is not we don't get to see each other in person we don't get to travel to events the way she is doing business is dramatically different but what she has realized is that it's actually going to be better because with all these other distractions removed she can really focus on her mission and creating the movement that she really ultimately was headed to anyway, before she got steered off and, and following everything. Hello, Diane, good afternoon to you. So talking to some of these people, uh, there was another woman I met, or I was speaking with who lives back East, who had this these 10 tasks that she had been doing for the last like year and a half. Uh, she was a virtual assistant. And as she, she lost some of these clients, because like, you know, we're going to pull back in, we're kind of closing, closing up shop a little bit. We're just being really careful about our funds, which is totally normal, totally expected. And as we talked through it a little bit, she realized that this was actually not a bad thing because a lot of those clients weren't her people and they were asking her to do things that she didn't love to do. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this is the perfect time to restructure and do something amazing. Hey, Kathleen, it's nice to see you. This is a really, really grand opportunity to take stock of what you've got and rather than go back to normal, rather than go back to this is what I did in February, rather than this is what I did back in 2019 before things went sideways, better. Why don't you make better decisions for you? Why don't you take it? This is, this is such an, an amazing, it has such potential to create something more fabulous, more fulfilling, more profitable than normal, right? So what if you looked at it like this? There's three different things I would like you to kind of challenge you to analyze, decide what works, what doesn't, and follow that path rather than normal. So one of those things is what do you actually want to do? 
what do you really like to do? What is that one thing that you want to offer and the way you want to offer it that makes the most sense to you, that makes that is most fulfilling, that is most profitable? Rather than all these other things you have piled on over the last, whether that's the last three months or the last year, the last 10 years, take take stock of it. Take the time to go through and say, here's all these things that I'm doing. This makes me tired. This doesn't make me any money. This, I actually am putting more money into it than I'm getting out. It will never pay off. It makes my tired ache. Like, how can I get rid of that? And say, this is really what I wanted to focus on. Friends, this is a perfect opportunity to revisit your vision, to really get back in touch with what's important, where you want your life to head, where you want your business to head, what team you want there with you, what team is going to help you get there, what clients are going to help you get there. This is that opportunity to say, this is where my, this is the path that makes my heart sink. This is the path that I'm going to take come hell or high water. This is a path that I can't not take. This is the perfect opportunity to do that. I challenge you to, to, as you're pivoting and circling or doing the hokey pokey or whatever it is you're doing right now, take the opportunity to decide where your path is going and align everything as you put the pieces back or in different places make sure that they are leading you toward that joy, leading you toward that money, leading you toward that fulfillment, leading you to where you get to make that impact that you've always said you wanted. Let the rest of the stuff just fall. Let it just go. It's not yours anyway. It's okay. Uh, Christy, are you able to pivot? Yes, exactly. It's one of those things where you're like, this is what I really wanted to do anyway. So as I pivot and say, because I can't do it this way, oh my gosh, this is actually where my true voice lies. These other things were the things I, I thought were going to work and it was working okay, but turn it on its head or turn it a little sideways or even just tweak it five degrees to the left. And it's where you were headed anyway. It's where your true voice wants to sing. So take the time to, to figure that out again. And maybe you're right on course. Maybe you're one of those people who are like, nope, I had already course corrected in January. Everything still is peachy keen. Fabulous. Double down, up the dosage, move forward faster. Don't hesitate. Don't wait for something. Now is the time. The second area I want you to take a look at is who are you playing with? And that is both your clients and your team. And by team, we've talked about this before. Sometimes that's employees. Sometimes that's vendors. Sometimes that's joint venture partners. Sometimes that's, I mean, whoever it is that gets to carry your brand on their shoulders on any level is part of your team. Are they the ones you still want to play with? Are they still aligned with you? Are their values still aligned with you? Are their goals still aligned with yours? Are they still 100% on board with what you're creating? Especially if in the challenge number one, where you get to reanalyze where you're headed, you may find that some of your team doesn't wanna play that way. And that's okay. They get to do that same thing for themselves. This is not the time to just keep same old, same old. This is this, you know, non-chosen, <laughs> We didn't choose this. We didn't decide to take three months to hunker down and shelter in place and try to decide what to do. But make the most of it. Decide, go through your client list right now. Go through your calendar. Decide who are those 20 bucks to hardware clients and let them go. Because if you think they were 20 bucks client, 20 bucks to hardware clients before, oh my holy cow, I can almost guarantee you it's going to be more like five bucks to hardware clients. <laughs> They're going to be higher maintenance. They're going to be more excruciating because you are going to be that much more focused on what you actually want to create and who you want to go with there. These people are going to be more draining on your and more taxing on your soul and on your energy. Bless and release, let them go. And that comes with employees, that goes for clients, that goes for networking groups that aren't serving you anymore. It's okay. Just let it fall. And those things that you do want to keep, those team members that are right there, still aligned with you, still still on your team, still their goals and their vision is completely in alignment with yours. Excellent. Rally. Create that culture, which actually leads me to number three, create the culture that supports that. So the area, third area I would challenge you to look at is how are you creating the experience for the people in your world? And again, that creating that experience is that includes your clients because you absolutely get to create an experience for them. You get to choose how to enhance that, how to make sure that 
you are not just some product they picked off the shelf, but you are actually home to them. They know you've got their back. You, they know you want their success almost as much as they do. What are you doing to increase that experience, to enhance that experience and solidify that experience so that time and time again, they know exactly what to expect from you. They know that when they refer you to their friends, exactly what they're referring, they know how far out they can stick their neck for you. But this also goes with your team. How are you creating a culture, your brand culture, so that they feel like they have ownership? They feel like they're a part of the community. They feel like they can voice their concerns, their challenging, their ideas, their their opportunities and their potential. And really, how are you creating that kind of a team so that everybody gets to be fulfilled? Everybody gets to feel like they get to play full in. This is a fabulous opportunity as you are shifting, pivoting, dancing on your head, whatever it is you're doing. Take a look at, at that experience. What pieces can you up the voltage a little bit on? What pieces don't need to play there anymore? Essentially, what you're looking at is where are your brand fundamentals? Where are those foundational pieces that are exactly spot on and where you get to release them? What pieces of your brand equity are exactly spot on? Which places need to get a little bit amped up? Which ones just need a few tweaks? Which ones just need to be updated and elevated and make sure they're more timely, more accurate? And which ones just get to go? And then your brand legacy. How are you creating that emotional connection with everyone who gets to play with you? How are you supporting their opportunities with you? We talk about, in the League of Legends, we actually talk about this quite a bit, about your persona and how you're showing up. But part of it is how are you allowing them to reciprocate? What kind of brand culture are you creating so that everybody who comes into your space feels like they get to, they have a place to belong. They have a, they have a say, they get to speak, they get to have a voice. But it all comes back to you. This is your business. You get to decide do where you go. And I mean, it's that old, you know, you say when, you say who, you say how much, all those things are still true. This is that fabulous opportunity to, if not completely recreate, that's okay. But tweak, keep what you love, let go and don't pick back up those things that aren't working. If you've had clients who are like, eh, we're going to kind of chill for a little bit and they weren't your favorite clients anyway, don't don't pursue them find new ways to nurture and enhance and entice new clientele new community new ideal clients instead of chasing back down the 20 bucks of hardware clients there's three different ways for you to really maximize this potential as you are pivoting Does that makes sense i cannot wait cannot wait to see what you create if you are having some stress figuring out where exactly you want to go and how you can create a team to get there. You should join me on the road to legend. I will put the link in the comments, but it's it's really an amazing five day experience of getting your head around what your next steps could be and dreaming big and then even dreaming bigger than that. And all with the support of a community, all with support of me popping in onto that Facebook community and, and poking a little bit and asking the right questions. So if you, if that's where you're stuck, if that's where you're like, I'm not quite sure, I think I know, or even I have no freaking clue. I Everything I thought was true is not. Everything that was up is down. Join me on the road to legend. It is a clarifying, fabulous, fulfilling experience. I cannot wait to see you there. And until I get to actually see you in person and give you a big old squeeze and a high five, rock on.